What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Assembling Arsenal. It's been a couple days since we've done one, maybe three days of this, so we've, uh, we're getting a little bit behind, but we are going to kick it back into schedule now and get back to the least every two days uh, sort of upload thing. We have basically been doing that now for two weeks. We're really getting into the swing of things. I, I'm really struggling to upload these more than every other day because like, I want to get trading and stuff done and I feel like if I do that, it will constantly just be games and no trading, nothing at, like ever any special stuff or anything like that but anyway before we really get stuck into it what i do want to say is if you want a fast and reliable coin service check out utcointraders.com there is as always a link to them in the description down below but anyway um so we go into our first game against this uh, guy of a 4-5-1 Prem team and ideally I wanted a win. Uh, we were doing really well in the division. I think we were like 5-0-1 or something like that and uh, I, I was desperate to get some wins. I really wanted to get this division just wrapped up in this episode. If we won all three games, we would have that. So uh, I was getting really excited. Benica Fovey managed to score a goal on his second game for the club and he has been really impressive. I was actually, excuse me, I was actually really impressed with how good he has been. There, another fantastic run and another goal so his pace and shooting has actually been really impressive he can't really do a lot else but like his shooting even though it's like a 70 or 68 or something like that it's still not bad at all it seems like when you need him to put a shot away chances are he will actually be able to do it so he's been really impressive and really good for me in that sort of way and obviously his pace being what like 84 that's fantastic it means most of the time he will get on the end of three balls he can pace out the defense and stuff like that so uh, that's pretty good but this guy managed to pull it back to 2-2 two -two here two relatively quick goals and the trapped header there meant uh, it was back to 2-2 two -two, but on the uh, the the stroke of half time, I couldn't think of the word there. We managed to make it 3 2. His goalie stupidly ran out for the goal uh, for the corner, and Koscielny managed just to tap it into the back of the net. A bit similar to the Newcastle goal last game of the season, there, the way he hit that. But um, that made it 3 2. And then later on, my goalie made the good decision to come out and punch it. He did what his goalie was supposed to do, but he did it well. And a Phobie managed to skip past his defence really well, get himself one on one with a goalie, and absolutely power at home. I think that is for his hat trick, which is not bad at all for a youngster. And then he was about to get his fourth, and this guy was like, nope. I'm quitting. Just going in the net. Look at that. I'm actually pointing at the screen as if that's going to help. But literally just crossing the line. And the guy had had enough and decided to quit. That meant to end up at 4-2. Uh, but it could have been 5-2. And that meant... We're now 5-0-1, two wins away from winning the Division 1 title, but we've got four games left. So two out of four with the record we've been getting, you'd expect that to happen relatively easy. But next up, we have a five at the back Prem team. Now, on paper, you think, oh, this is going to be disgusting, but not really. He's made a big mistake, in my opinion, with his two midfielders having two attacking midfielders, having Shinji Kagawa and Tarapt as his two centre mids in that formation. I think you need one, at least one of them, like to be quite defensive, so... I think even though he had five at the back, it still left him like open quite a lot of the time. Here, I was able to uh, get a through ball to a phobie, and luckily his goalie like messed up the clearance, and it bounced off a phobie's back. And once again, he was banging in the goals. He's been playing really well. I think after this episode, we can check. Uh, well, next episode even we can check just exactly how he's getting on with his goals to game ratio. But. Um, 2-0 now, uh, and we picked up the ball, gave it to a Phobie once again, and he just split the play open, a fantastic pass through to Podolski, and it just managed to creep over the line and make that, what, 3-0 now? I believe that's what it is. We'll see in a sec. Yep, 3-0 just before half time, and then a Phobie was slipped through again, and uh, easy, easy finish there. I, I can't get over just how good a Phobie has been, and uh, that guy had obviously had enough. Once again, a Phobie got man of the match, second game in a row now that he's had man of the match, so absolutely fantastic there. And uh, we have been doing a tiny bit of trading we made a little bit off these guys like three or four k off each of them which is nice and then we have Gilfie Sigurdsson over here who I'm hoping not to make excuse me as much on because I struggled a little bit but maybe like one and a half two k uh nonetheless and like I think at the start of the thing I was on like 50k and I think that'll take me to like 60k when that sells or something along those lines maybe it was 45 it'll take me to 55 but anyway uh that we go into the next game and this one is a game that will win us the title and I looked at this team and thought brilliant here we go. We've got the title then. Everyone out of formation. He had a manager out of formation. That just shows the signs of a massive noob. But I was stupid. 
started off here getting Koscielny sent off and I kind of forgot about it really quickly and it left the biggest hole in my defence you could not manage, uh, could not manage, you could not imagine, they are the words I'm trying to take out of my mouth, but it was nil-nil as we went in at half time, I'd managed to hold on for the last few minutes and there you could see I was like the better player uh, by, a, by a relatively long shot and actually in the second half we took the lead, Sanya crossing the ball in to the head of Podolski who knocked it down but Every attack he started to have now, there was just a gaping, gaping hole in my defence. Just look at that there, so much space. And I thought he was going to play him offside, so I started to bring out my goalie. I thought by running into each other, and then that just gave him the most ridiculous goal. And I was annoyed because I'd completely forgotten about the player being sent off, and that left just the greatest space there. And things kind of went from bad to worse with my defence, as uh, as you'll probably tell in a second. Now, we came very close to scoring here. I thought we was going to put one away. We didn't do very well from the corner either. But uh, shortly after that, as you can see, the massive space was left there. It was basically four on one. And this guy was holding off a mile and I couldn't get across. So I just had to lunge in with a tackle. Luckily, wasn't given as a penalty, but... It was a sending off and that now meant we had no centre backs. I had to make changes now. I think I bought on Arteta and then also like moved Wilshire back or something like that as my two centre backs. But uh, that could, didn't make a difference. We now had two shocking centre backs and he made it 2-1. I couldn't really believe it had happened. It was all due to my stupid sending offs but he beat me 2-1. Leandro Damal scoring both his goals and that is the end of this episode guys. So next episode we will be doing some more trading. We need a win to get ourselves the Division 1 which should mean we'll have a pack. So if you guys enjoyed this video please be legends and leave a like. That would be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I hope you did enjoy this video. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.